Radical. Welcome to Radical Rabbit Fire, comment response for March the 13th through March the 19th, 2023. Short comments, quick replies. Rune Mamba. The last few games for the Lakers, they've shown that Anthony Davis is a great player, but he can't be the number one option on a team. He's a number two guy, and it shows. A lot of these losses are on him. Lakers fans don't have Russ anymore to blame on everything. Yeah, when Russ was there, when LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Russ was there, there was a lot of losses that people, the sports media, was pointing right at Russell Westbrook. But the burden is bared a little bit by Anthony Davis. Now, he's injured a good bit in the past. Last season, I think, miraculously, he was pretty healthy, right? And he he did pretty great at the Olympics. But uh, I would say he's not somebody that can lead the Lakers into the future. He is definitely. He just doesn't have that aura of a number one guy. He's a solid number two. One of the best number twos you can find. One of the best pairings with LeBron was Anthony Davis. That's why LeBron worked so hard to try to get Anthony Davis on that team. And then they got one chip from that from that pairing but i agree with you anthony davis while a great player he is just not that guy definitely not that number one guy to build an entire franchise around so once lebron's gone off that lakers team I mean, they're going to be terrible i don't see anthony davis staying there much longer after lebron is gone DJ Crispy Fingers. For those who can't find or want to use a sensor bar for the Nintendo Wii, you can just plug in a classic controller on the Wii Remote and you're set. A lot of people forget this option that you actually have on a Wii. Uh, To me, that makes the Wii a lot more palatable because I'm not a sensor kind of guy. I'm not a gimmick guy. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's kind of fun playing Need for Speed Nitro, being able to lean into that car. You know, using the, using the Wii controller to lean in. But a traditional controller for me is a necessity. And that's why it's so great on that Wii. Like you said, you can plug in a classic controller and play your games. Not every game you're going to want to try to play with the actual Wii nunchuck and all that kind of all that kind of stuff. Although with Wii Sports, stuff like that, it works beautifully. So... The Wii is uh, Wii is a really really nice system in that respect. You can even play GameCube games on it. So I'm just kind of I'm confused when I look at prices of the Nintendo Wii. I don't know why the prices are so low on the Nintendo Wii and the original PlayStation system. I don't know why prices are so low on used original PlayStations. Have you noticed that when you're looking around? I mean, it's not a bad thing. Definitely not a bad thing. I would say that's the two uh, to two retro systems that you can great, get great deals on that have pretty good libraries. I would say the Nintendo, Nintendo Wii and the Sony PlayStation. Can you think of any, any more other than those two? Had of 10 rows. I'd say emulation is the best. Wink. Oh, oh, don't, say, don't tell that to Nintendo. Nintendo does not think emulation is the best. Do not tell Nintendo. What's the best for Nintendo is making sure to charge you over and over and over again every single new generation for Super Mario Brothers. They got to they got to charge you over and over and over again. All right? They don't like emulation. They shut down Vin's Lair, by the way. So Nintendo is completely anti-emulation. Unless I would say if they use it in some capacity, it's okay. But uh, no. Even these 30, 40-year-old games, Nintendo does not like emulation. All right, so don't even think about it, Hampton Rose. Dumez, Wii U is the only place to play two versions of Zelda in HD, Twilight Princess, and that cartoon boat one from GameCube remake. That's a big reason, I think. It has modern Smash 8 and modern Mario Kart, too. This was in regards to something I said. I can't remember exactly what I said because, I mean, it was over a year ago. Um... And you talk about that cartoon boat one. Yes, the Wind Waker. I've never heard anyone call it that cartoon boat one. I was not wild with the design of Wind Waker. In fact, I'll tell you right now, I absolutely hate everything about the design from Wind Waker. I don't like it. It doesn't appeal to me. But it doesn't have to appeal to everybody. You know, I like certain Zeldies, and I don't like other Zeldy designs. And when it comes to the new Zeldas... I think I think everything looks wonderful 
in the Switch games. I love the designs of the Switch games. I do. I definitely do. But Wind Waker is the one where I look at and I'm like, eh, if it's a if it's a Zelda, I'm I don't want to play. It's probably going to be Wind Waker. You know. I know a lot of you probably love Wind Waker, but you know. And this is coming from a guy who hasn't played all the Zelda games, and usually I only play Zelda if I go to my friend's house, who's a big Nintendo nut. And usually it's not from the very beginning to the end. It's like he's playing a Zelda, and then he switches over to another system. Like, hey man, you know, can I play some Twilight Princess? I'm like, yeah. So I don't have a lot of experience on the newer Zeldas. Usually Super NES Zelda, Link to the Past. Uh, yeah, but that's my Zelda history. I like the series. It's just Wind Waker. Eh, the design just turns me off. The Stinky Burner Alexander. Love you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. That's nice of you to say. I hope you're doing well also. Uh, it's been a year. I'm still doing okay. I hope you're doing well. But a lot can change in a year, definitely. I mean, it's not been a great year. I would say 2023 was a better year for me than 2024. Uh, this year, I've just... A lot of it has to do with the business of the flea market not being quite what it was last year for me, even though my setup, um, what I'm doing, my professionalism has improved. I think it has a lot to do with the economy. And you know what? It could be... A lot of us are not doing as well as we did last year because the economy is when it's in the crapper, man. It's the economy, you know? So everyone, everyone in some way, shape, or form feels it with the economy. And will it improve? I don't know. But I tell you what, I'm not spending like I spent in years prior. I still, I have the same amount of money as I did, but I'm just not spending as much. Does that make sense? You, you got to be careful with this economy. Right, so that affects how we're doing, definitely. Uh, but thanks for sending your love my way. It's weird that I get someone that says, hey, I love you. I'm like, just kind of odd to hear. It really is. In real life, it's kind of weird, too. You know? I'm just, I'm just not used to it. I'm not used to it, you know? <laughs> Online, I guess I'm used to more people hating me and everything because I speak out against some YouTubers from time to time and e-begging. I'm used to people coming by going like, I fucking hate you. I'm like, okay, that's par for the course. I'm used to that because I'm, you know, I'm a truth teller. I'm a, I'm a true speaker, and usually people hate the true speaker. Um, the Winged Avenger. It would be cool if Nintendo released a console that could play all the games of all the consoles that Nintendo has made. That would be pretty damn badass. It would be massive though, because Nintendo's made Nintendo's made a lot of consoles. I mean, you got the NES, Super NES. Game Boy Advance, just too many to list. There's a lot. How many Nintendo consoles are there? There's at least, like, what? If you count handhelds, variations, 20 maybe? Maybe a little less than 20? There's no way you could make one that could play Super NES and Virtual Boy. Could, did you think about that when you wrote that comment? Virtual Boy? How the hell are you going to incorporate Virtual Boy? But maybe you mean all the home, home games. And then maybe make one that could play all the portable games. Right now, I'll say I've never had one, but I've heard people like the Retron 5, which is able to play pretty much all the Nintendo cart games. It, if, you ever one have, if you ever have one system you can plug in NES, Super NES, and Game Boy games on, that's worth it. If you don't have to pay a lot for that, it's worth it, especially with the way retro game consoles are going up in price. If it works, for the most part, very well, I know there's even settings and there's HDMI, it can get pretty damn expensive if you're collecting all these old NES systems. And you also have to question also the functionality, how good condition they're in. You have to make room at your house for all these systems to run. Uh, you got to clean them out. You got to get contact cleaner. Sometimes the contacts are rusted or bad. It's, there's a lot of money that goes into retro gaming and actually getting the stuff like the, was it, the Frame Meister. The stuff that uh, increases your resolution and, and whatnot. So I don't know about a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, I like NESBox, ZSNES. I like <gasps> emulators and ROMs. You know, don't listen to that, Nintendo. I like emulators and ROMs for a lot of that stuff. But if I had a big retro game collection, I think I would definitely lean the way of getting a Retron 5. Any of you ever had a Retron 5? You like it? 